The two-hour explosive interview with Ms. Winfrey has been nominated in the Outstanding Hosted Nonfiction Series or Special Category. Its place was confirmed earlier this week, with it up against Stanley Tucci, Searching for Italy, and My Next Guest Needs No Introduction with David Letterman. The interview sent shockwaves around the world. Meghan and Harry aimed several serious allegations at the royal family, including its failure to help Meghan in her mental health struggles and racism against their first child, Archie. Harry also revealed an astonishing rift with his father, Prince Charles, claiming his family had cut him off financially in the months after he left, something which Royal Finance Reports published this year disputed. The Emmy Award nomination is the closest Meghan has ever come. While she starred in the hit series, Suits, from its inception in 2011 for seven years, neither she nor the show was ever put forward for the prestigious U.S. Primetime Television Prize. Only one member of its cast, Gina Torres, has won prizes from other awards. In 2013, she won the NHMC Impact Awards Outstanding Performance in a Television Series. Ms. Torres also won the Imogen Foundation Awards Best Supporting Actress, Television in 2018. While Meghan and Harry will not be the recipients of the award should the interview win, the one-off special would never have been possible without their participation. Ms. Winfrey, along with executive producers Tara Montgomery, Terry Wood, co-EPs Brian Piotrovich and Brad Pavone and producer Lindsay Flader, share the nomination. More than 17 million people watched the interview when it aired in March this year. It was subsequently rebroadcast both in the US and the UK. The news comes as Robert Lacey, a royal historian, claimed Harry is ready to admit HES made mistakes out of sheer temper since quitting his senior royal position, but that Meghan is sticking to her guns, according to the Daily Mail. His book, Battle of Brothers, was published before Meghan and Harry spoke to Ms. Winfrey. Speaking to Newsweek Mr. Lacey said he believes that Harry is the only one who may be ready to admit mistakes for his behaviour over the past two years, but claims it may not be reciprocated because Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge may feel vindicated in having doubts about Harry's relationship. He said, on one side we've got William who doesn't seem prepared to concede anything and on the other side friends have told me that Harry wouldn't mind reconciling and then it's Meghan who is sticking to her guns on this issue. It should surely be possible for both sides to say the past is in the past. It's very regrettable that Meghan doesn't withdraw just a little. Why can't she say it was the pressure? I was getting used to this incredibly complicated system. I was just pregnant. I couldn't sleep. Perhaps in retrospect I went over the top about it.